Within the IPG and media brands uh, family, Society is a social media focused uh, agency or socially focused agency, but we do uh, all sorts of work because the world has shifted from uh, an AOR that does one thing in one space to people being able to try and tackle an ability to uh, work across a lot of different categories for clients. So where we might come in with a conversation of how do I talk to my audience in social and on social platforms, we extend that conversation pretty quickly to you can't just talk with an agency on social platforms. What's the content you're making for those social platforms? Does that roll up into a broader marketing play overall for your brand and the campaign? Um, and where can we play a best role in leading you from a larger perspective or working with a brand to, to do more, better, deeper work with their audience? That's a long-winded way of saying if in social media we engage with an audience authentically, that's also what we should be doing at mass scale for traditional broadcast campaigns. So we will take our ideas, maybe we get asked in to do a social media campaign, and an idea we come up with can pretty quickly scale up to potentially becoming a full broadcast campaign as well. So Josh asked me to come and talk about five ideas to steal to the audience and kind of give them a space uh, for what they might do next. I basically just share the things that are interesting to me in the last week, two weeks, last night, things that I've seen mainly through social media that um, pique my interest and are spaces that I'm intrigued by and think are potentially where we should go next. Uh, yesterday, for my talk on five ideas to steal, it actually got down to really brass tacks and simple basics. Um, that's the word that I used. Uh, I'm fascinated now by the idea of doing the right messaging and having the right conversations with people but through a less complicated lens and the way I put that was um, I look at all work now that solutions to clients problems and what we should be making and how to make it well is simple but not easy so retro retroactively after you've come up with an idea we can look at it and go like wow that was pretty simple that's simple execution it's beautiful it's elegant it made sense it's pretty it's not easy to get there because of all the things we're chasing right now. Where should I put my media? How do I touch my audience across all of these points? How do I do? It gets really complicated really quickly. And so what I shared was a lot of stuff that said, let's take a breath and talk about maybe our brains are too fractured right now and there's an easier approach and we do need to get back to basics a little bit. So one of the things I shared was from a chief creative officer at uh, BBDO, Greg Hahn. He posted the other day, just to Twitter, a picture of uh, back to school night for his kids. He went back, I think his kids in second grade and they'd put up a chart of basically a don't do it this way, do it this way, advice for life for second graders, right? That advice for life for second graders, which was like, maybe this is the wrong way at it, and you're making it too complicated, and you're not doing the right thing, and you're not treating people respectfully, and all those things, that's great advice for all of us in our 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s now in the advertising world. We started to do things in a very complicated and maybe not the best beneficial way and my take on that was it's time to kind of go steal from your kids what are the lessons you're telling a two-year-old a five-year-old a seven-year-old a ten-year-old why have we lost the plot a little bit and we're not paying attention to those lessons anymore so that's just one place that I was finding you know a lot of interest right now is like we, we, we make things really complicated and maybe it's not that hard I think in a strange answer for what has me excited for 2018 is how much everything is breaking apart, finally. We've been talking about the future and the future's coming and things are changing. Things are changing fast, man. I mean, an article last week in Adweek came out and said, I think spends for creative agencies are down 38% in one year. That's crazy. That means things are falling apart. We're not making the same stuff. We're not making as much of it. A lot of agencies are all chasing the same work now. Uh, the field's kind of open to anybody can come in and solve a problem the right way. There's an ability to talk to people across all platforms at any given moment. It's a pretty crazy time. And I think you have to be fired up to be successful, you have to be fired up to embrace a crazy time and say, nobody knows what they're doing right now, which means you can figure out a solution. You don't have to have the solution. You can focus on it, and if you're smart and engaged and passionate and creative, you can come up with that solution together. But the sky's the limit, and everything's wide open, and it's all tearing apart. And tearing apart's scary, 
but it means that where we're going to be in two or three years, there's no way to game it right now. You can't possibly know where that's going to go. So you've kind of got to get in, get on the ride, and see what happens next.